Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to seamlessly merge a group of images automatically using Photoshop's Photo Merge tool in the automation menu. You can download the project files for this tutorial to see how everything was put together and have some photos to work with if you don't have any of your own. Let's get started. So there's a couple ways you can get started doing this and I'm only using six images so first I have them all open in Photoshop. If you're working with a lot more, you don't necessarily have to open them all first, but I just wanted to show you guys what we're working with. So these are my six images, and as you can see, they're all of the same sky, but just different areas. And what I want to do is combine them all into one bigger image so we can see a bigger picture of the overall sky. So now that I have my files open, I'm going to go up and click File, Automate, Photo Merge. And over here in the layout, you want to keep it set to auto. If you know what you're doing, then you might want to use some of these other ones, but usually Photoshop knows what it's doing. If you don't have your files already open, you can browse your computer and choose files or folders to add images to your list here. But since all of my images are already open, I'm just going to click the Add Open Files button. And that's going to add all my images to the list here. You want to make sure you have Blend Images Together checked. And you might need to play with vignette removal and geometric distortion correction later, depending on how your photo merge turns out. So now that I have all my images loaded in, I'm just going to hit OK. And as you can see, Photoshop has merged all my images together and placed them in the proper spot. So if I turn this top layer off, and I zoom in here, you can see how Photoshop has kind of made jagged edges to blend these photos together. Now if I turn that back on, you'll see that you can't tell where that seam is, but sometimes you'll have to go in and fix that manually using the spot healing brush tool or the patch tool or anything else. Normally Photoshop does a really good job of hiding those seams. Next all I have to do is press C to choose the crop tool and crop off the sides of my image to get rid of those transparent areas. And that's pretty much it. So if I go back and look at one of my source images, you can see that it's a lot smaller and doesn't show as much of the sky. But now since I've merged them all together, I get a bigger picture of my sky, and it's a higher resolution image overall. Stitching photos used to be a huge pain, but by using Photo Merge, it makes it super easy to create huge images or panoramic photos. Now, the more photos you try to merge, or the bigger the dimensions of each photo, the longer it's going to take. So keep that in mind before you get started. I'm John Shaver for Photoshop Video Academy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.